So for example, take this example, suppose that we want to create a matrix like this, and then we want to calculate the eigenvectors and eigenvalues for this matrix, and then we're going to sort the eigenvalues and associated eigenvectors. So let's do it. So first of all, we need to define this matrix. So I import uh, the NumPy package. So I import NumPy as NP. Then I simply define NP.Array because I want to create a two-dimensional array. And remember that matrices are two-dimensional arrays because they have rows and columns. So they are two-dimensional arrays, rows and columns. That's it. The first row is 0, 1. The second row is 2 and 3. And then I want to store this in a variable. Let's say called A, which is the name of our matrix. And then I want to calculate the eigenvalues and eigenvectors for this matrix. In order to do so, I simply type NP dot linear algebra and this means that we are using the linear algebra section of this numpy package and remember that numpy has different sections for different stuff for example it has a section called random which is used for dealing with random stuff but also it has a section called linear algebra which is used for linear algebra stuff so from the numpy package we want to use the linear algebra section of that numpy package and then i want to use a function called eig, eigenvector I mean, eigenvalues and eigenvectors, and I should pass a, which is our matrix, and this function returns two values. The first one is the eigenvalues, and the second one is the eigenvectors. So that's it. So now if I print the values, so print the values, and also print the vectors, And if I run a code, you can see here is the results. Here is the first eigenvalue, and this is the corresponding eigenvector, and this is the second eigenvalue, and this is the corresponding eigenvector. But now we want to sort the eigenvalues and their associated eigenvectors. So for example, this is larger, and we want to put this first, and then we want to put this after that because this is a large in eigenvalue so we want to sort the eigenvalues i mean from larger to smaller and their associated eigenvectors so for example if i put this at first i want to put the corresponding eigenvector as well at the first position so let's do that but now let's print something so i simply print values dot arg sort so let's do that and if i run the code you can see here is the result but was it what does it mean it means that when you sort the eigenvalues so you can see these are our eigenvalues so if you sort the eigenvalues in ascending order by saying ascending order i mean from smaller to larger which is the default format in python programming language so if you sort the eigenvalues in ascending order the first value would be the value at index 0, and the second value would be the value at index 1. So if you want to sort the values of this array, we should put uh, the values in this order. I mean, we should first of all, we should put the value at index 0, and then we should put the value at index 1 in order to make something which is the sorted version of these values. So that's it. Here is the meaning of arg sort. So as you can see, the arg sort returns the corresponding index of the sorted values. And by saying sorted values, I mean sorted by ascending order. In ascending order, I mean. So that's it. And as you know, we want to sort the values in descending order from larger to smallest. So that's very easy. We can reverse whatever we have get from ascending order. So in order to reverse all this stuff, we should do this. We should put two semicolon and one, minus one. It means from the beginning all the way up to, to the end and with a step of minus one. So this will reverse all the stuff. So values.arg sort returns the corresponding index of the sorted values in ascending order. But if you want the descending order, so we should reverse it. So now if I run the code, you can see here is the result one and zero, which is the corresponding index for sorted values in descending order. So now let's 
store this in a variable, let's say called index. So I define a variable, let's say called index. So this is the corresponding index of the sorted values in descending order. And now we want to update our eigenvalues and eigenvectors using this index in descending order. So that's very easy. I can simply use values and then you want uh, the values to be sorted in this order, I mean index. And then I store the results in a variable, let's say called values. So I'm updating the values. That's it. And also I want to update the vectors, all the rows, but which columns? The index columns. So from the vectors variable, from the vectors variable, we want all the rows, all the rows, but the order of the columns should be according to this index variable. That's it. So I store the result in a variable, let's say called vectors. So as a matter of fact, I'm updating the vectors variable. So that's it. So now if I run a code, you can see that the eigenvalues and their associated eigenvectors has been sorted in descending order. As a matter of fact, we have sorted eigenvectors based on eigenvalues in descending order. Now I really suggest you to watch this video which is on the screen now.